Greetings guys, it is Stokrave, and today I've got a guide for you on how to get your third mark of excellence on the T32. I will let you know everything you need to know to be able to get this third mark. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I have to say, let's get right into this. This video is going to consist out of a few things. Firstly, I'm going to discuss what you need to take into account while playing the T32 to get the third mark of excellence. And after the rundown of the T32's advantages and disadvantages, we're going to take a look at a replay. This is also going to be the replay in which I got my third mark of excellence. But firstly, as I said, we're going to take a look at the T32's advantages, starting off with the thing that the T32 is most known for in this game. It's ridiculously good turret armor. If you played against a T32 or if you have played the T32 yourself, you will know that this tank has got probably one of the best turrets tier for tier in the game. Pretty much no tank that you will ever meet is going to be able to penetrate your turret armor. There is a slight weak spot on the top of the turret, which is the cupola up there. But you do need around 240 millimeters plus of penetration to be able to penetrate this cupola on top of the turret. So what can we conclude from this? It is always key in a T32 to try and be hull down at all times. Every time you engage an enemy tank, it is going to be very important for you because if you stay held down, there's pretty much nothing that the enemy tank can do to you. Well, that being said, that's also not entirely true. Because while I played this tank, I found out a weak spot. If you look directly at the front of the turret of the T32, you can see that its gun mantlet is very big and peeks out a lot out of the turret. If you shoot the underside of this gun mantlet, the shot will actually bounce off the gun mantlet and go into your upper hull armor. And this is very annoying because the shot will always penetrate if it hits this exact spot. And if you want to get the third mark of excellence on the T32, it's very important that you know about this weak spot. Luckily there's a way you can avoid getting penetrated like this. The thing you can do to avoid getting penetrated is just aiming your gun up in the air or as much down as you can. And this way the shot will still bounce off the underside of your gun manlet but it will not go into your upper hull armor anymore. And this way you will not take damage. So in a battle it's not a very bad idea to aim up your gun in between your shots. I'm not saying that I did this every time in between my shots. But I do want to point out that if you see an enemy knowing about this weak spot that you can do something about it. If you don't believe me try it out in the training room yourself and you will see that it works. The next thing I want to talk about is the gun of the T32. The T32 doesn't have a very good gun for its tier in my opinion. The things that it lacks is penetration and the accuracy of the gun is very bad. So if you're engaging your enemies from a long range you shouldn't be surprised if the shots just don't go anywhere you aim them. Another thing that the gun of the T32 lacks is good premium round penetration. The EPCR rounds on the T32 only have 245mm of penetration. We all know that the IS-3 at tier 8 has around 226 I believe millimeters of penetration. This is the penetration on its standard rounds. So the premium rounds on the T32 only have about 20mm of extra penetration. I think you now understand why the premium rounds of the T32 aren't that good at all. You will struggle at the front of tier 10 and even some tier 9 heavy tanks. And because of this low APCR penetration, I think it's not really a shame to be firing a lot of APCR in the T32. The mobility of the T32 isn't really worth mentioning as it's not the best, not the worst. As you're a heavy tank, you should know that you're not going to be able to bomb it round on the battlefield. So you need to keep in mind that it's really important that you don't fall behind your team. And what I mean by this is that if all the yeah, allied medium tanks are rushing into the enemy and you're still around the spawn point, then yeah, you're not going to get much damage whatsoever. And as most of you will know, getting damage and assistance damage is the key to getting your marks of excellence. Lastly, I want to encourage you to get your view range up to the maximum spotting distance of 445 meters. This is going to be important because you're going to be able to spot enemies at a longer range. Which will give you more assistance damage, which equals more marks of excellence. 
So these were all the things I wanted to tell you and these are all the things you're going to need to be able to 3 mark the T32. I will also tell you what the minimum amount of damage and assistance damage combined is what you're going to need to not drop on the mark of excellence. You will at least need 2.5 to 2.6k damage and assistance damage combined to not drop on the mark of excellence. So this all being said, let's now get into the replay in which I got my third mark of excellence on the T32. Time to roll out. So everyone, here we go with the T32. We are on Sand River in a pretty good matchup as we can see. There are a lot of tier 9s on the enemy team. A lot of tier 9s that I cannot penetrate even with my APCR rounds or at least I need to flank them to be able to do any damage to them. But... Immediately what comes to my mind when I'm playing on Sand River with the T32 is that I can go hill down on a lot of locations. The first one is going to be here on the hill at D7. You're going to see that um, I'm going to use this position to be able to see if any enemy tanks are going to be able to make their way down this. Because if they do, you're going to be able to spot them. And if you're going to aim your shots up well, you're going to hopefully be able to track them and do damage to them. So that quickly being said, that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I now want to explain uh, what my percentage was at the moment that I was playing this game. So before this game, I got my Mark of Excellence percentage up to 94.6%. But unfortunately, then I got a really bad game in which I dropped back down to 93.94%. So I needed to go up a whole percent to be able to get the 95 magical number, as we all know. So we track the bad chat. We get some spotting and assistance damage from him. We track him again, and this time we do do damage to him. Which is nice. As we can see we're starting off with the normal rounds on the T32. And with the targets I'm engaging right now. That is totally fine. I'll be easily able to penetrate these guys with my normal rounds as we can see. So luckily we do get another shot into the 5120. Which is just really nice. Um, yeah getting those shots up on tier 9 tanks is just really awesome to do. And we pretty much got a very good start here. We didn't, yeah, just caught out one tank in the open. We caught out two tanks in the open, pretty much. We're almost up to 1,000 damage. And as we can see, we're already up to 1,000 assistance damage. We can see this, of course, in the left, the, yeah, down corner here in the screen. If you guys want to know that, you probably would have. As we can see, now I am loading my APCR rounds to be able to engage this Carnarvon at long range. But unfortunately, my shots aren't going anywhere where I aim them. The accuracy of the T32 rearing its ugly head here, which was pretty, yeah, expectable. Because we discussed that the accuracy of the T32 is very bad. I think it's like 0.38 or 0.42 or something. It's, it's just really, really bad. So... We are held down at the moment and there's nothing that the enemy tanks can do. Yeah, of course, you this huge HE into my turret, which does some damage. But I'm going to spoil you for you guys. That Judas is going to me is going to shoot me in the turret multiple times this game. And this is one of the only times he's going to do damage to me. So what is going to be through what's going through my mind right now? Uh, as I said, you have to watch out uh, for not falling behind on your team, if you know what I mean. So, my plan was to go up on this mid-ridge here, because if I go on this mid-ridge, I will be hulled down, with only my turret peeking out, of course, and I will be able to spot all the camping enemy tanks that like to sit up on the ridges at the back of the map. So, that's exactly what I try to do now. But as it, yeah, exactly at the moment I try to uh, go to the mid-ridge, this T-44 had probably, uh, uh, yeah, a very comparable plan to mine, and he rushed down to our flank. But unfortunately, it didn't quite work out for that for T44 as well as he probably hoped it to to work out, if you know what I mean. And I've yeah, and I've been lucky as well a little bit extra because all the enemy tanks uh, decided to rush down the one line, which gives me some very nice flanking shots into them. So as you can see, I'm still firing APCR rounds. If you can't really handle me firing a lot of APCR rounds, then you probably should skip the replay because. I will probably be firing nothing but APCR from now on. But as I said, the APCR penetration on the T32 is really bad. So it's not that big of a shame to be yeah, to be firing that this many APCR rounds. So now I want to go up onto the midridge. But all the enemy tanks back here are stopping me from crossing this little piece of open ground right here. So I'm just waiting for the right moment. I was waiting for some tanks to hopefully get spotted by the LTTB. 
to make sure yeah have to know if they were exactly going this way around here but it looks like this is not the case so i go and cross this open ground right now because as we can see we are playing an account an assault game i think this is yes this is an assault game and this is yeah not very handy for a third mark of excellence game because in an assault game we all know the time you only have 10 minutes to be able to win the game and 10 minutes most of the time is not enough to be able to do a lot of damage and get a lot of assistance damage but i did make it work as you can see because we're already up to 2000 damage done and almost 2000 spotting damage so with this amount of damage and assistance damage combined, I know that I am yeah, at least not going to drop on the Mark of Excellence anymore. I've got more than 2.5 damage and assistance damage combined, so dropping on the Mark will never happen. I will always increase right now, no matter what happens. But of course, we're going to try uh, to get a little bit more. Because if I want to get my, mark of ex my third Mark of Excellence in this game, I'm going to need to yeah, go up by more than 1%. And that's easier said than done, as, of course, the higher percent, uh, yeah, the higher mark of excellence percentages you get to, the harder it will be to increase your number. But, luckily, we do get some nice scorpion here. I have no idea how that shot managed to miss. It probably uh, went very low and hit the ridge in front of the scorpion. As we can see, we do manage to get some more shots into that guy, which is just really, really nice. Doing damage to this lightly armored tank destroyers is just amazing. Also, luckily he made, he misses me, which enables me to put another shot onto him. We could have done over 900 damage to him now if the first shot would not have missed. But unfortunately, we're not that lucky. Oh my god, he's peeking out again. Please, accuracy, work with me a little bit. Yes, there we go. And we got some nice extra damage off that scorpion. So now as we can see, there's only four enemy tanks left. We have got 3 minutes left to be able to uh, kill them all if we want to win this game as well. But of course winning your games while getting, a, uh, yeah, while you're grinding your marks of excellence is not the most important thing. But it would be very nice to take down the win as well. So we all know where the enemy tanks are. The UDES has last been spotted uh, yeah, where my Emil 2 is at the moment. So it's very probable that the UDES has went down the... Yeah, the flank right there exactly where i'm pinging right now and that's why i hoped the emil and the e75 were going to attack because i'm making a bit of a risky play here because the udes if he's sitting on one of those ridges on my left he will be able to snipe me into my side armor but luckily that's not what happens as the udes is not sitting up on a ridge we've got the side of the yak tiger right here just a very juicy shot into the side of the yak tiger would be very nice to get another one. But it looks like the Yak Tiger is angling himself up. Yeah, and that shot just didn't even hit him. So as we can see, we're getting engaged by the LTTB on the enemy team. I angle up my tank. He bounces a shot. We've also blocked over three, almost 3k damage as we can see. We've done 3k of normal damage. And still we're on 2k spotting. Let's see what we'll be able to do at the end of this game. I decide to go onto the right of this ridge to be able to stand hull down. And that's exactly when the LTTB peeks out. I auto aim and uh, we put one shot into him. It looks like we track him as well as we get all the assistance for that LTTB. And this is going to be the last enemy left and we take him down as well. A really, really good game for the T32 and hopefully it will be enough to get the third mark of excellence everyone. So let's go and take a look. As we can see this game, I did over 6,000 damage and assistance damage combined. Which enabled me to jump up a whole percent to get my third mark of excellence. We also got a nice tanker badge, which is a nice touch to be able to end my third mark grind on the T32. So everyone, that's pretty much been the third mark guide video for the T32. I hope you guys picked up some handy tips and tricks to be able to get your third mark on the T32 as well. And if this video was handy or useful for you, please let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see more of the T32 on my channel, on the outro screen and in the cards menu, there will be a card towards one of my videos in the T32 in which I got over 7000 damage. Don't hesitate to check that video out. But for now, that's it. Please leave a like as I did put a lot of time into making this video as usual. And subscribe if you haven't already. I will see each and every one of you 
in the next video. See you next time, guys. Bye.